Hello, uh, what's up and welcome to Anfield side. Today we are going to talk about the little thing that's happening and everyone is mentioning about Liverpool. You know the thing that everyone is talking about that is Liverpool are, are having power struggle. And you know this thing is not a surprise to anyone. You know like <clears throat> the way uh, Michael Edward and Julian Ward, they left. Then now that Jurgen Klopp is leaving, they're all coming back. You know like it doesn't surprise anyone. There was an issue somewhere and you know now things are coming out you know slowly by slowly but you know up to now we don't have anything that we can say this liverpool power struggle is a real thing and like the closest that uh we came to is that uh, uh what's called paul choice has said uh, that liverpool are having power struggle on one of his uh i think tweets or you know those posts that he post on athletics and you know like liverpool journalists are all taking you know this thing out of proportion you know and the in and out you know then there's this i think he's called Ravnik. he's also a trusted um, uh what's called liverpool journalist who works inside and outside liverpool you know and close works with close people to liverpool he stated that liverpool um especially the whole thing weird thing started with uh pep linda's suggesting a signing together with jürgen club and that signing was not approved by Ward then later when the signing worked perfectly, uh, you know, uh, they said no, you know, he started mocking um, Ward for it and, you know, it really made the, you know, show that these managers are not, you know, are mocking it and, uh, you know, it really started have uh, you know, bringing issues. Another thing that came out is that Liverpool once wanted a number eight, you know, especially since, you know, Liverpool used to play this 4-3-3, you know, where they have one holding midfielder, one number eight and one come, you know, with Jürgen Klopp's system. And, you know, Julian Ward and Michael Edwards were not willing to give to that. And they said, make my, uh, what's called, uh, um, Reginaldum, uh, you are number eight. And we all know how well and how it worked for Wijnaldum. And, you know, these things, it took a group work and all these things. Another thing that also came out is that um, Michael Edward wants to become like uh, Florin Florentino Perez of Real Madrid, where he has all the power to manage everything, and Jurgen Klopp wasn't giving in to that. And you know, like another thing that this led to is that um, even though Amirium was the number one target, and yeah, what's he called? Um, Javier Alonso, even though Javier Alonso was never said that he refused to become, you know, uh, he refused to give in to these commands and wanting of uh, Michael Edwards. Uh, the thing that really clearly came out that is my, my Amirion has said no to this giving in and I don't want to just work under your rule. I want to make my decisions. I want to be a coach you know other than you know i really want to be the head coach of the team you know and those things and i want to make my own decision my wanting signings and those things other than you know what the team plans and gives to me but uh, michael edward doesn't want that he wants to run the team you know especially he wants to run this uh system of where you know you study team players and you know how they react how they interact with other players and how they work and you know in a way it's a good thing i i'm not gonna say oh you know this and that but do you think it's like the way to go to move forward? Um, I also another thing came out that Jurgen Klopp went uh, when they wanted to send Jurgen Klopp, they went to sleep the same hotel with him and they studied him for some days, living the same hotel with Jurgen Klopp, how he interacted with people, how he was handling people, you know, and that's why they decided to sign him. And, you know, that's what Real Madrid does and that's how Real Madrid runs, you know, they let players do their own thing and they especially when you see the way they send Hendrik, you know, Rodrigo, you know, those players who are friends to the players who are still playing to the team, you know, that's why they always send French and, you know, the um, French players and uh, Brazilian players uh, as they have affiliate as a two nations, I don't know how, but, you know, uh, these two nations are really really close to one another they really have a good friendship and good relationship and that's what uh yeah florentino perez uses and that's what michael edward wants to do it he wants to run the whole fsg thing with you know affiliation 
uh, he wants to study and also he wanted to have stud under studies of let's say the big players you find Fajal van Dijk your um you are Mo Salah you are you know all these players they should have had players that who are already whenever they step down that are ready to replace and you know this Mo Salah saga also is something that Jurgen um, yeah, Jurgen Klopp and you know other thing. Jurgen Klopp said it's not my problem. Uh, as I cannot say anything about it, as I will be no longer here next season. And uh, so many people are saying Mo Salah will probably be sold this season, but I don't think. I think and uh, that's two years with Mo Salah will be possible. You know, I don't think they will let him work on a free. They will tell him, okay, we'll give you two-year contract. We'll sign you two-year contract. Then this season you play. The next season, if a good offer comes, we accept and you go. Uh, whatever you want um that's how i think they will say it but you know that's all my thoughts and all my thinking but you know julian ward my michael edward who huge uh the guy from porto in uh, not penfica sorry and the guy from penfica you know i'm all i'm hearing is praises from everywhere this guy he's really really good in developing players and you know technical technicality of the teams and those things and you know hopefully that all works for liverpool and the better way what do you guys think do you guys think this is a good move do you guys think this is a bad move let me know in the comments below and i will see you in the next video